Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing the synthesis of 4-methylcyclohexene experiment. In this experiment, we will prepare 4-methylcyclohexene from 4-methylcyclohexanol by performing an acid-catalyzed alcohol dehydration reaction. We will distill the product from the reaction mixture as it is formed. We will then test the product for unsaturation using potassium permanganate. Let's get started. We will begin by pre-weighing a five milliliter conical vial. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial is 23.4310 grams. We will next add 1.5 milliliters of 4-methylcyclohexanol to the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial and then re-weigh the vial to determine the exact weight of the 4-methylcyclohexanol that we will be using. The mass of the pre-weighed five milliliter conical vial plus the four methyl cyclohexanol is 24.7290 grams. We will next add 0 0.4 milliliters of 85% phosphoric acid and six drops of concentrated sulfuric acid to the conical vial with our four methyl cyclohexanol. We will then add a spin vane and stir the liquids on a magnetic hot plate. After mixing, we will connect our conical vial to the distillation apparatus. After mixing, I've wrapped our conical vial containing the reaction reagents with aluminum foil and connected it to the distillation apparatus, which consists of a Hickman head still, a water-cooled condenser, and a drying tube packed with anhydrous calcium chloride. We will heat the reaction mixture until the product begins to distill. The aluminum block should be between the temperatures of 160 and 180 degrees Celsius. We will collect the distillate from the side port of the Hickman head using a pasture pipette and transfer to a new three milliliter conical vial. We will continue the distillation until the product is no longer being distilled. After the distillation is complete, we will wash the inside walls of the Hickman head with one milliliter of saturated sodium chloride solution using a pasture pipette with a slightly bent tip. We will then transfer the remaining liquid in the Hickman head to the three milliliter conical vial with the rest of our distillate. We will then allow the layers to separate in the three milliliter conical vial. After the layers have separated, we will remove and discard the bottom aqueous layer and then transfer the remaining organic layer to a small test tube. We will then dry the organic layer over an hydrous sodium sulfate. We will stop for the test tube and allow the organic layer to dry for 15 minutes. While our 4 methyl cyclohexene continues to dry over an hydrous sodium sulfate, we will pre-weigh a new 3 milliliter conical vial. The mass of the pre-weighed 3 milliliter conical vial is 23.0139 grams. After drying for 15 minutes, we will next transfer the 4-methylcyclohexene to the pre-weighed 3 milliliter conical vial using a filter tip pipette. We will then determine the mass of the pre-weighed 3 milliliter conical vial plus the 4-methylcyclohexene.
the mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial plus the four methyl cyclohexene is 23.6777 grams. We will now test the distillate for unsaturation using potassium permanganate. We will add five drops of four methyl cyclohexanol and five drops of the four methyl cyclohexene distillate to two separate test tubes. We will then add 0 0.3 milliliters of 1,2-dimethoxyethane to each test tube. The 1,2-dimethoxyethane allows the aqueous potassium permanganate to interact with the organic test compounds. We will next slowly add 1% aqueous potassium permanganate solution dropwise to each test tube. Compounds containing double bonds react with a solution of potassium permanganate, which is purple, to discharge its color and produce a brown precipitate of manganese dioxide. We will now perform a microscale boiling points determination of the 4-methyl cyclohexene distillate. Okay, students, you can now determine the percent yield, the boiling point, and analyze the IR spectrum of 4-methylcyclohexene. You've also gained some familiarity with the potassium permanganate test for unsaturation. This concludes the synthesis of 4-methylcyclohexene experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.